Aloha friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're thinking, hey Brittany, you look kind of the same as your last video, it's because I do. <laughs> this video was shot the same day, just a few hours later. Uh, my phone had to charge and I edited the other video, posted it already, and so now we're going to do another unboxing or unbagging, if you will. This is the Ipsy Glam Bag, the regular Glam Bag, $12.00. Usually there's five sample size items in here. Um, this month there are going to be six because it is the 100th glam bag for Ipsy apparently. And occasionally they'll throw a full size item in there. It's usually something along the lines of like a lip gloss or a, a, an eyeliner or something like that. Or a brush, which I am seeing as I peek in here. There's a couple things outside of the bag. The first item is something I've already used. I did use a couple of these items today in here, so I can kind of give you some thoughts on some of them. I didn't use all of them, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, this is, let me first get the little card out so I can tell you more about the items. That's not the card at all. Okay. So the theme this month is Celebrate You, and like I said, it's because Ipsy has 100, their 100th glam bag this month, and then it gives you information about all the items. It doesn't say which item is the extra item, like the bonus item um, to celebrate the 100th, but it does give me uh, information on everything, and then the full-size price. And this is a full-size item. This retails for $18. This is the complex culture where's the name of the brush okay this is the all over shadow brush and so this says use the tapered size to smooth on color and the fluffy tip to blend it out so I guess like the tapered size would be this way and the fluffy thing would be this way I actually use it today for the color in my crease here and here and then I did use it. Uh, I use a different brush to blend because this had product on it. I tried to use my color switch to get the powder off, but it's a little bit dirty. It's going to need a cleaning. But yes, this retails for $18. Okay. And it comes in this interesting little plastic sleeve. I know the handles are biodegradable, so I wonder if this little sleeve thing is biodegradable too. I don't know. But yes, that retails for $18. I do like the complex culture brushes. I do have to say when I was using this one, to me, it's just, it's not, it's not that dense. It's quite fluffy. So I might use it more for a blending brush because it just like, I didn't feel like it was that precise for me for like, um, application, but I might like it for blending. Okay. The next thing that says deluxe sample, it is... A set of two face masks from Rail Beauty and this retails for um, so okay for five masks it's $15 so that makes each mask $3 so these two like retail for about six um, so that's cool and it comes with two this one says hydration. I can open up this little thingy. Okay, the first one says hydration. And the second one is vitamin C. So hydration, vitamin C. I'll add it to my 30 other face masks currently in my refrigerator. Yeah. So there's that. And then we're going to the things. Those were the things outside the bag. Now we're getting into the things inside the bag. This is like a much smaller version of the Ipsy Ultimate bag. It's just kind of the same size as a regular Ipsy bag. It has smaller little studs on the front. And then on the back, it says 100th Ipsy Glam Bag. So that's super cute. And then the lime green zipper. And the lime green inside. This one does not have a pocket inside. But we're going to get into the stuff inside. I'll first pull out the things that I used, and then I'll pull, pull out the things that I haven't used yet. I used this Brow Wand by Scone. So 
like a reflective writing on there. That's pretty. So this is a full size item. This says it retails for $20. I would not pay $20 for this. Let me, uh, although I don't mind the finish, the finished look of my brows, I, I don't mind it. The tip is a little bit different. It's like kind of triangular. I don't know if you can even like see that but it's like a little triangle and I had to warm this up on my hand actually quite a bit because I tried to use it straight from the thing on my brow and I usually start at the tail like mid to tail and do that first and then I'll work on the um, front but when I first used it it was like so scratchy and so stiff and so I had to sit here and I probably I warmed it up on my hands for a good while it's still kind of like just stiff and scratchy and I don't it's it's not my favorite it's not creamy at all it is quite stiff and that is what it looks like on my hand right here that's what it looks like on my brows like I said I don't mind the finished product but it's just so stiff and this is let's see how much product you get in here hopefully it doesn't break that's how much we get in here like a little, little more than an inch of product <laughs> but it's just so stiff I'm not the biggest fan I do like brow pencils but this one's really stiff I mean maybe if I continue to work with it some more it'll lose some of that stiffness but it's like just using a like a number two pencil <laughs> if it was shaped like a triangle on your eye it's just it's a little scratchy. It's not my favorite product. I probably wouldn't repurchase this because I have tried other ones I like better. I like the Chella eyebrow pencil a lot. I like the current one I'm using is the Billion Dollar Brows Univencil. Un Univencil. <laughs> it's the Univencil. The Universal Brow Pencil. I like that one a lot. And then um, I do have, I just got an Ultimate, the Benefit brow contour pro something like that I haven't used that yet but I think I would like that one more than this one I just there's other brow products I like that I would elect to buy if I needed to other than this one this one's stiff for me okay the next thing I use which I'm actually gonna apply a little bit more now because my lips are feeling a little dry it does feel nice and hydrating once it sinks into my lips but it kind of it takes just a little bit for it to sink into your lips. Um, it has a, a slight scent, kind of like candy, but it's like it's almost even hard to detect. It's not super fragrant or anything. But this is the Awake lip therapy mask and this was actually the product that I chose for myself and I I mean it's so tiny this thing is it is tiny it's definitely a sample I don't know if there's anything deluxe about it but it's a sample um and it says the full size version of this retails for $20 and the full size version is 13.8 grams this is I don't even know Oh, two grams. Two grams. Oh, okay, so that's like a like a seventh, <laughs> about a seventh of the volume of a full size product. So it's a seventh, one seventh of twenty. Like. Three, almost three, almost three dollars. I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't pay three dollars for this. Um, but there you go. So there's that. But it is nice. It is nice and hydrating. I don't think it's quite as hydrating as the lip gloss I tried on in my last video. But it is nice. I will use it. I have to dig in quite a bit with my finger to get product. I feel like. I feel like. It's not as like pliable as I hoped it would be. It's kind of stiff, uh, not stiff. Um, it's just doesn't have much give. So I have to, I have to dig in a little bit, put some on, dig in a little bit more, put some on. Um, but by doing so, but 
probably last a little bit longer, I imagine. <clears throat> and the next thing, I did not use this. I did not... Oh, I didn't think I opened this. Oh, no. I didn't want to open it because I don't want the timer to start on this because this is only good for six months. This is the Galactic Precise Eyeliner Marker. Um, dang it, I can't believe I opened that. I didn't mean to. I am currently using my Illamasqua. I used that today on my eyes. My Illamasqua eyeliner I got in an Ipsy bag last month. The month before last. I got the, it the month before last. Um, and I'm still using that one. I haven't even opened my eyeliner I got in Ipsy for last month because I'm still working on my first one. And I know they don't last like an insane amount of time like this one the little jar on it says six months so it's only last six months and I don't want to start the clock on this and it's bad even before I get the chance to use it so hopefully I just didn't mess up and start the timer on that I didn't actually use it so I don't know um and then this is a oh that is a full-size item and that also retails for $20 apparently. And then this is a deluxe sample. And the full size of this is 15. That's 473 mLs is the full size. This is 30. That is way, way less than a third. Way less. Um, yeah, way less. It's like less than less than 10 times the amount like less than 10 percent of the amount anyways um this is the grace and stella do your skin a favor lavender lotion if you've been watching my channel for any length of time you should know now how i feel about lotions and i just got a lavender lotion in my fab fit fun i which surprisingly i've used it the past few nights like on my neck and decolletage and hands and the aromatherapy part of it's really nice and relaxing so I mean maybe I will use this but I don't need to open it right now I've already opened my um I think it's like this works sleep cocoon or something like that uh and it's also a lavender scented lotion and it is really nice and calming before bed so I mean this might be an interesting thing if I do happen to travel which that probably won't happen anytime soon but or I can put this in my purse. I'm going to have a lot of lotions in my purse. <laughs> or just save it until I run out of the deep sleep cocoon and see if I like it. But I haven't opened it yet. This is good for 12 months. But I, since I already have a lavender lotion opened, I'm not going to open it. It probably smells like lavender, which pretty much everyone knows what that smells like by now, I would think. So there's that. And I think this was the bonus item, but it, it doesn't actually say. So I have no real way of knowing which one is the bonus item. Um... But so I got a hand cream. I got another black eyeliner. I got one in another bag this month too. I think it was my plus. So I got two black eyeliners this month and then one before and one before. So here's another black eyeliner. At least it's a different tip. It's like a marker tip. So that's, that's a little different. <laughs> I got this Awake brow products trying to fall off the table got this awake lips therapy mask which it's nice it doesn't last too long though um it does it is hydrating but after about 30 minutes to an hour it's gone especially if you eat anything nope gone um <laughs> so it's not the most long lasting thing in the world but I think it'd be nice if I use it like right before bed that way I'm not I'm not drinking anything I'm not eating anything I'm not I don't know kissing my daughter I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so maybe it'll last a little bit longer um and then the scone brow pencil this is probably the biggest flop in the box for me um I mean I'm not excited about another black eyeliner but I know I'll use it I'll probably use this too honestly but I'll probably use this if I run out of my other brow products in the next 12 months and they don't send me another brow pencil then I'll probably use it but is it going to be my go-to everyday pencil absolutely not it's way too stiff for that not my favorite and then 
we got the complex culture all over shadow brush which i would likely use more for a blending brush because even the side of it is just not not as precise as i would like for like initial application of color so there's that and then the last thing are these two masks from rail beauty the vitamin c and the hydration Again, I get a lot of masks, so these will just go in my refrigerator, and I will be able to pull them out when I'm feeling like doing a mask. But all in all, it was an okay bag. I think the thing I'm probably most excited to continue using... I mean, I'll use these face masks eventually. I'll probably use this. Um, I like the brushes. This is just a little... Uh, more flimsy than uh, most of the complex culture brushes I'm used to so not my favorite but I might use it for blending the lip therapy is okay the brow wand I'll use in a pinch the um, eyeliner I'll use eventually I know I'll use that eventually but I just have a lot and then the hand cream or is it body lotion or hand cream it's just a lotion, so the lotion I'll use eventually. I, I can't say I'm honestly really excited about anything in this bag. Will I get some use out of it? Sure. Am I just excited to open up this bag and use everything? No, not really. I don't think anything is really speaking to me out of this bag. Nothing really just excites me. Um, it's actually probably one of the most, one of the least exciting bags. I've ever gotten from Ipsy. I do appreciate that like three of the six items were technically full size, like with the eyeliner, the brow pencil, and the brush. I think that's pretty cool. And the bonus item for it being the 100th glam bag, I think that's pretty cool. Um, I will use these items at one point or another. I, the brow pencil, I'm not too sure about, because like I said, I do like the finished product. I do like the way it makes my brows look, but they kind of have to like suffer to get to look like that because it's stiff. Um, so I don't know. I'm not like super excited about anything in the bag, but I will get use out of it. So at least there's that. I might not have to be excited about something to use it. So, um, but let me know what you thought about my Ipsy bag. Were we bag twins? Do you think my bag is fantastic and I'm just super jaded? <laughs> that could be the case. But anyways, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. It helps me gauge what kind of content you guys like. And if you've watched a few of my other videos and you do like my content, feel free to subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Do you get Ipsy Clam Bag? What did you think about your 100th bag if you get it? Um, do we get the same things? Do we get completely different things? Did you love your bag this month? Did you hate it? Just let me know in comments down below. But whether you like or don't like, subscribe or don't subscribe, comment or don't comment, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk to you guys later.